in this video, we're looking at the error that occurs sometimes when viewing HTTPS sites at using Burp Suite as your proxy. So what we have here is we have an error message that the connection is untrusted between our browser and Google. We're using the HTTPS. We would not get this error message if this were HTTP. The browser is set up to use Burp Suite as its proxy. So if you go to Edit, Preferences, Advanced, Network, Settings, you can see that we're connected to localhost 8080 as our proxy. And then looking in Burp Suite, we go to the Options tab. We can see that Burp is listening on all interfaces on 8080. And for SSL connections, it's issuing a per host certificate. So Burp Suite is actually making a normal SSL connection between itself and Google. However, there's still the connection between the browser and Burp itself. And for that, Burp is generating a certificate for, in this case, Google, because that's the host that we're browsing to. But it's not signed or trusted by a root certificate authority that comes with Firefox, which makes sense because it's not Google certificate. It was something that was made up by Burp Suite on the fly. What we could do is, is we can click on I understand the risks and click add exception. And that will take care of trusting this fake certificate while we're checking out this particular site, but only this site. Because again, if we visited a different site, Burp would generate a different per host certificate for that site, which again would not be trusted by any of the default root certificate authorities that comes with Firefox and so we would just get the error message again. In order to take care of this error message, what we can do is we can get Burp's root certificate authority certificate, then load that into Firefox as a trusted root certificate. In the future, when Burp would generate one of these per host certificates and sign it with its own root CA certificate, our browser will trust that root CA certificate and therefore trust the per host certificate that is under the root CA certificate. We can get a visual on this by going to view and details. We can see that their certificate generated by Burp is being vouched for by Burp Suite's own certificate authority, not Google's certificate authority. That's why the error is showing up. You can see the actual names and so forth that are on the certificate that was created by Burp here. It was issued to Google by the Port Swigger Certificate Authority, the manufacturer of Burp. In order to go ahead and get the certificate, make sure that the Port Swigger CA is highlighted. If you highlight Google, you would be able to export this per host certificate, but again, that would be the same thing as accepting the certificate. It's only going to work when we're browsing to this particular site through Burp Suite. We want to fix it to where when we go to any site through Burp Suite that the message doesn't appear. So we'll highlight Port Swigger Certificate Authority, hit export, and we'll save this to our desktop as a .pem file. In this case, we're using the IceWeasel browser in Kali Linux, and this version of Firefox doesn't add the .pm extension, so we type it in. And depending on if you're using a virtual machine, you may not be able to easily click on the button. Sometimes you can resize the window, other times you'll just need to, to kill the browser so you can get out of this screen. You can list the processes. This probably would only happen if you're using VirtualBox to virtualize the machine like we are here and also if your resolution doesn't agree with the window.
but in this case this is how you get out of it. So you list the processes and then look for the one that's for Ice Weasel and then take note of the number and then just kill that process. Okay, again we're trying to go back to Google and we're getting the error message. But we do have a copy of their certificate on our desktop. So we'll go to Edit, Preferences, Encryption tab, and then View Certificates. Here we can see the root certificates that came preloaded into Firefox by default. And to add Portswigger's certificate in here, go to Import. And then go to the PIM file that we saved. You may have to click on desktop to see this depending on whether or not you've gone to this certificate before. And then hit open or just go wherever you saved it. In the certificate import wizard we're going to trust this certificate authority to identify websites because we're not going to be using Burp Suite to proxy privacy enhanced emails or the other features. And then once that's added to the list, you should be able to see that certificate listed in the list. So there's the Portswigger Certificate Authority. Now any certificate that's signed by that root certificate will be trusted by Firefox. So we'll try to go out to Google again, proxying through Burp Suite. And this time, there's no error message. So we can go ahead and start doing our application pen test on whatever application the customer has over SSL connections without getting that error message every time we try to browse out to the site and without having to accept those individual per host certificates one at a time.